are these people? Who are these people? Who are these people? Who are these people? No, not that one. What happened? It froze again. This one? <sighs> no, I meant the Jimmy one, but I don't know. My deck froze again. Damn no. it. All right. I have three articles that I brought that I didn't think were worthy of reading the whole thing, but I did want to mention them, and nobody has talked about them as far as I know, so I wanted to mention them. Pentagon to, be to begin producing weapons for Ukraine in Argentina? Hey, libertarians, you schmucks that back right. Millet. How do you feel now? Millet? Millet? You anti-war libertarians. That, and, and again, most of our anti-war friends... We're not fans of Millier. However, there are a lot of mil uh, libertarians who were simping for Javier, uh, Mr. Israel supporter himself. And now we're going to start producing weapons. This is what happens when we put in a puppet-friendly dictator, you know, a U.S.-friendly puppet dictator into a place like Argentina and get him elected. I, again, how that happened and how... The Libertarian Party in the U.S. is claiming credit and to blame for that. I still don't quite understand, but that's another story. World Socialist website had that one. I also wanted to call attention. I normally would read a story like this. It broke my heart to read this. But I'll just read the headline and the subtitle, which is The, the Myth of Our Disposability, Reflections from an Amazon Warehouse Worker on Prime Day. And this is why I wanted to bring it. Because on July 16th and 17th, Amazon made $14.2 billion off the backs of its workers during its annual Prime Day sale. The holiday yeah. means extra hours, increased rates of injury, and sweltering temperatures for workers like me. But Amazon workers have been united in this summer to fight for the wages, conditions, and autonomy that we deserve. And that's in Left Voice, another Indie Media Award honoree. I love that they give the, the voice to the workers. And again, if I had not brought some stories that I thought were also really important, I would have brought this one. And I didn't want it to go without being mentioned, at least. So by all means, go to leftvoice.org, support them, and read this article. Uh, and then we also, for those who were here and know, a lot of you probably didn't, I was invited and co-hosted Hardlands Media on Wednesday with Kit. Cabello, that this this kit and big fan, mm -hmm. you know, I uh, appreciate him giving us the shout out, giving me the opportunity to talk about the article that I wrote um, about Jill Stein. It may be great, even though I don't think she is. But even if you think she's great, the system is the problem. And which is why I'm speech is boring and paranoid, which is why I'm resolutely oh, sorry, wrong one. Yeah, wrong one. Yeah, but I'm resolutely. So I'm stuck the near you. One. Cheers and salutations. Oh, that oh, guy. He got him. Right, right. Kid Cabello. Uh, okay. Yeah, another Indie Media Award honoree, by the way. Um, so that was a fun time. I co-hosted the whole show. <laughs> you know, Kit takes down the links for the whole show after he runs it, and then he just keeps the clips up. I think they're only available maybe to Patreon subscribers, but I grabbed the link and I put it in in an article here in my Substack to send out to my subscribers. So if you uh, if you check out indiemediatoday.com, all of my all of my appearances on other shows I try to include in there. Um, also, last night was really special. Uh, I aired, like I said, a conversation that I had with Keith McHenry. I did I pre-recorded on Wednesday night. Uh, I was super nervous when I started. This guy is an OG legend activist. He protested the World Economic Forum in 99. He protested the RNC in 2004 when the Iraq war was happening. He has he, He's a co-founder of Food Not Bombs and fed millions of people around the world. He's written books. Just a fascinating guy. He's also, you know, a, he's been studying Whitney Webb. And I think that he's along the lines and he's, just brilliant about a lot of where we are and where we're going. So I actually put this up to innnewsletter.com. So you can download it or listen to it as a full podcast and audio format. You can watch it on here as well. It's a little over two hours long. 
I messed up and I cut off the audio for the first two or three minutes on his side. And then I figured that out and turned it on. And so it, it starts where he's midway through an answer, but we talk for over two hours and he's just a wealth of knowledge and experience and seeing things that we could only really dream of at this point. And we really need to, you know, they talk about listening to your elders and I, I feel like he's, He's one of the people that we should be paying attention to, listening to, and and going to for advice and guidance because he's been there. He's got an FBI file. He's been locked up in jail. He's done the hunger strikes. He's fed the hungry. He slept in his car. He's he's done all. He's done it all, really. I mean, and and he's a treasure, really. So by all means, Keith McHenry, INN one on one. Check that out. Um, it's not on YouTube because we talked about some COVID stuff. And we talked about some great reset stuff that I was a little nervous about putting to our YouTube channel. So that is only available on Rockfin and Rumble for INN or unedited and in, in its complete form here on INN Newsletter.